Uh, welcome in, oh, 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 ladies oh. and gentlemen. It is the 9 p.m. hour, and you know what that means. It is time for Anime Weekly, your one-stop shop for all topics anime. We are your hosts, <laughs> Shelby McWeeb and Andrew J. Alandi. And our guest for this evening, Shelby, Hi, who do you my have? pretty. <laughs> okay, that was really, that was too scary. Sorry, <laughs> I scared myself. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Scared herself. <laughs> wow. Our guest for this evening. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Utahime Cosplay. What is up? Much oh. ten times spookier. Yes. So, as you notice, we've got a crazy oh, little scary theme going on right and now. And I got my devil horns. Indeed. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know the drill. If you're watching this, make sure you've shared share, it out. Share, share, share. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Vero, MySpace, Friendster, doesn't <laughs> matter. Yeah, if Vero is still a thing, right? I, I guess. So is it still? We're thing? never gonna give we, this up. Yeah, oh I'm gonna. We're, I'm gonna go with every single one I remember, including Gaia. Who was that? Sarah, Sarah, Hara. Oh, Sarah. <laughs> the, 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 Sarah. The, the question answering. Please the, tell me what you think of me. Yeah, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> no, secret, that's. Uh, please tell me why you haven't tuned in to Nerdbot Media for Anime Weekly Wednesdays at 9 p.m. on Nerdbot. But yes, make sure you guys are sharing it out with all your friends and uh, like Anime Weekly. Yes, please. Like their page. Make sure you've like liked Weekly. the Anime Weekly and the Nerdbot page, getting your update. So Spooky. I do see a scuba Ooh. Steph and Antonio DeCoster in the chat. What's yeah. going on? Again, sound Everyone's off if you're here. here. We want to hear your thoughts about what's going on in the world of anime and all the topics, all the spoopy stuff that we'll be talking about this evening. So again, a uh, lot, lots to go through. Oh, a yeah. lot actually to promote as well. We'll get into that in just a minute. So uh, gonna give a sh- uh, quick shout out to Christian Frigiliana Abasolo, uh, a name that always eludes me in terms of pronunciation. So. Uh, to Shelby and Utsuhime Cosplay, first of all, another episode of Anime Weekly. Here we go. In the books. Woo. It's not yes. really in the books. We just started. You can't say in the books. Until no, we- well, you know, it's, what's going to happen like to it's, us? It's a great... <laughs> right. Every time I come on here, the uh-huh. show, I'm like, hey, this is like, remember the first episode? Yeah. And I was uh, proud of that. Okay. And so for me, yes, it's for the books. Another one for the books. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I'm you. Write it down. You're right. You're like marking <laughs> another notch. order. Just understood. Ugh, okay. So, uh, quick question before we begin today, before we dive into some of the other. Depends who's asking. Uh uh-uh. oh. Okay, uh, real off the top of your head. Quick question, and this also goes out to all of you beautiful people in the chat as well. Brandon Martin. Guillermo Medina, Samantha K. Lopez, Michael Dinocente, Jason Logan. See all of you, Weston Diaz as well. This goes out and sound off as you see it. Quick question of the day. What anime world would you want to live in and why? That's a good one. Well, yep. it's Halloween, so I guess it Soul Eater. Have, it doesn't have to be Halloween, <laughs> but okay, so... I mean, Soul Eater is a pretty low commitment world to live in. Like, nothing that bad is going to happen to you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, even Game of Thrones is worse. Like that, that, really? that's a commitment, yeah. Soul Eater is not that bad. You just hang out in Halloween Town forever. Okay. <laughs> I, I, can, I can live with that any day of the year, but especially right now this week, I will say Soul Eater. Soul Eater, okay. Utahime, where are you going? Okay, I'm going to say, hmm, this is a tough question. Okay. What, like, first thing that comes to okay, your head. Okay, I'm going to say, um, and we talked mm-hmm. about this, oh, some people may not know the show, but it's a really huge show that's on Crunchyroll. Actually, I am, because in that show, all of the, like, ghouls, goblins, demons, aliens, everybody's super cute and adorable, mm-hmm. and, like, they're not necessarily, like, attacking each other or uh-huh. trying to kill each other. They're just hanging out. Um, they're hanging out. They're friends. They're, like, at a high school. But everybody's getting along. Um, I mean, some people are pretty awkward, and they're trying to to hide that part of themselves or uh-huh. try to control their, you know, mm-hmm. beastly urges. But at the same time, I, I feel like it's just a happy, fun place to be. And it, like, it's almost like a Halloween town. Like, it's yeah. like, I don't know, it, it's fun. So I would say the world of actually I am. If you've seen it, haven't seen it, it's on Crunchyroll, guys. Come on. Okay, so we've got <laughs> one vote for Soul Eater, one vote for actually I am. Is that yes. correct? Yeah, it's a spooky world to live in. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm cheap. I'm going to the Fate State Universe. I'm not going to lie. You're going to Fate Stay Night, you idiot? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like Sorry, that was mean. That was really abrasive. I'm going to take that back. Why are you going to Fate Stay Night, friend? Um, for, for Rin. <gasps> she is. But, ultimate wife. But her. you have Rin. I ha- yeah. See... 
That's why we're friends. Okay, that's why we're friends. All right. You're the commander of the thigh high. Right. All right. Yes. So look. Okay. So look at, the, look at the chat. A lot of people have responded right now. Uh, Michael Lockerbie, uh, first of all, says hi Reaper in response to Utahime, aka oh, yeah, the Reaper. We got cosplay. names this week. Yeah, we that's got, cool. We got call it's very signs. Very fitting. The Reaper, the Devil. I Wait. read souls. <laughs> Okay. Why, so if you're the Reaper, why haven't you started talking like a, with a really raspy voice? Get to the payload. Because I'm more spooky than that. I talk with this weird British, I don't know, spooky, <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this. Slash Reaper. Okay, that, that's the best I can do. I'm sorry, uh, guys. Gotcha. All right. I'm not good at voices like this guy over here. Uh, no, 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 I'm no, sure no Shelby worries. has a few on lock. I'm sure you do. Only after six drinks. I hear voices in my head, but uh, Guillermo oh Medina God. says uh, he'd like to live in the uh, the Tenchi Muyo world. Uh-huh. Michael Denisente chiming in with gold, Golden Slayer or Goblin Slayer. I'm not sure. If oh, it's Goblin. Goblin. Goblin! You want to live in Goblin Slayer? That's, wow! Did you watch Goblin Slayer? Oh, okay. All right. We got. Uh, let's see. Jason Logan saying, Either "I want." You really hate goblins, or well, like you, you do didn't another watch one that I would want to live in, hmm. um, and I think it counts. Uh-huh. Uh, Black Butler for the Black fashion. Butler. Okay. Because okay. lady, the lady in red. I mean, lady red. I, I like that outfit. Is fire. So, okay. and I'm wearing red hair right now. So you know. Gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, Jason Logan says, I want to live in the world of Rick and Morty, although that's not an anime. Yeah, get out of here. Jason. <laughs> like, By the way, Noah Salcedo, what's going on? And what's going on to Christopher Flores? I see you in there. Ian Guzman does give us a thumbs Love up. Love you, Ian Guzman. Uh, Okamoto Kitchen is in the house. Okamoto Kitchen. Uh, we're going to take what? a quick moment because... Speaking of Okamoto Kitchen, yes. now that our introductions are over... Okamoto Kitchen has a new shop online. Check it out if you like these shirts, because if you don't, then you're banned from the chat. I don't have a shirt. I'm um, just pretending I have a shirt. <laughs> she is actually like Arvana White. That's, that's kind of cool. Yeah, well, there you go. If you don't have a shirt, we're actually going to be giving away this really awesome Haru Halloween Ooh. sticker set. Uh. Andrew, be Vanna White for us. so cute. So there's more here where we that go. came from. There we're we go. Just uh, yes, yeah, so these these stickers are, are going out to one one random winner, is that correct? One random winner. Okay, very good, very good stuff. Yeah. But if you love Haru, you can always check out the Okamoto Kitchen Shop on their website. Ah, very good, very good. That wasn't good. a wink, hold on. Oh, we gotta, you gotta get the wink? There, oh wow, clip that, folks. Clip that for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> but yeah, Indeed. here are two of the shirts you can get. Ah, very good. I like the design. Wait. By the way, Tony Isn't it calls cute? really cute. I like it. All right, so it's a little bit like California vibe. Yeah, that's like a I classic. I like want to be her. She's my waifu, but I also want to be her. Okay. Just cosplay her already. Just do it. Just do the thing. You, know, you didn't create yours in like 24 hours like the Bowsette. Like you didn't do that? <laughs> I thought make, you would have been on that. Let's make her the next Bowsette. Yes. Uh, everybody yes. everybody go. internet. Okay, so within the next 48 hours, more yeah. like 24, because you guys yeah. pulled b- b- Bowsette in like a day. And all uh-huh. the other So like you could do that too. Yeah. Yeah, it could She's be done. She's cute. She's cute. She has sex appeal. You can also cosplay the truck, which is on Andrew's shirt. <laughs> the truck? Yeah, because I'm a great ride. I'd rather cosplay oh, the truck. I-, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, that's right. That's of a course. cute you truck. You had to do it. Honestly, like, do uh, big shout outs by the way to Okamoto Kitchen. If you are at a convention and you need to get some food to eat, Okamoto mm-hmm. Kitchen serves up great Japanese comfort food. So I've been good. going, I've been going to them for God, God knows how long now. Um, um, the curry burger. Yes. Yeah, uh, the oh non bombs. Oh mm. my gosh. Uh, by the way, Okamoto is saying, please do not lewd our maid daughter. I didn't lewd. Who said? Oh, I said she has. Um, I said she has sex appeal. Um, but I. That doesn't mean um, that she's lewd. Uh, um, Okamoto Kitchen said that in the chat. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't, we're not gonna elude her. No, no. I mean, oh, not not Bowsette, I mean, not that kind. Not that no, kind. Of we no, we are no, no, referring no. to the fact that people, if they can crank out Bowsette mm. in 24 hours, right? They can crank out a beautiful, classy, sexy lady. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, like pinup horrors. Yes, is a good haru. They can, like, they can do that. Yeah. I, th- I have faith in our cosplayers out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shelby. Yeah. I know they can do it. It's going to happen. <laughs> I know Epic Cosplay pretty much has this wig all set yeah. in their store. Like, you should buy it. Pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Where they could, when you do your 24 hours making this lovely outfit that's on our shirt, you can go to a special event we're all attending. Oh, jeez. Oh, right. How many events are we? There's oh so God. many. Oh so, God. that's one of the great things, by the way. I haven't way. slept. Okay, We're so. We're not going to sleep for We're not going to sleep weeks. until Christmas. This next <laughs> week, uh, if you're wondering, the ladies are talking about all the crazy events that are going on. It is seven yes. days. Seven days. Until Halloween happens. And 
the parties are getting started early. I know tomorrow starts the big one in Sanime that's going on at the Belasco Theater in Los Angeles. If you haven't visited AnimeImpulse.com, visit it right there. Do it. Uh, visit it right after this broadcast. Yes. They've Free got, sale tickets are still on sale. That so is correct. Do yes. it before the lower price is gone. Yes, it you'll is. see all of us at Insanime like tomorrow. Ghost. Like a ghost. Good segue. Be mindful. It is a 21 and up yes. event. Uh, cosplay is not mandatory. It is encouraged. And of course, it's a Halloween yeah. party. So and I there's, enjoy. there's a cosplay competition. So yes. um, I think it's limited. So you want to like first come, first serve. So make sure that you're there uh -huh. early enough to sign up. Indeed. So... Uh, by the way, chiming in in the chat really quick, Weston Diaz, by the way, agreeing, ravioli, ravioli, don't loot the maid. Yeah. Um, Daniel Samolina, Daniel by the way, is saying, I would buy these shirts. So Daniel Samolina. Really? Yeah. yeah. Of you totally should. Okamoto, if you're still watching, post a link in the comments. Yeah, I'm still laughing that people thought I was saying make a lewd version of her. Like, that's not what I said at all. <laughs> No, I think I think they were just saying like for the record. For like, the record, yes. yeah. For it the record, yeah. Yeah, it was like damn it, Utahime. That's like those memes out there that show like you know obviously what looks like amateur like porn, but then they put gotcha. an anime character on top of it, like hiding everything, censoring it, and it's like Goku giving you a message. Hey, hey guys, this is Goku. Hey, watching porn isn't a really good idea. You should use your time to train wisely and get to be even stronger, oh, just like Goku. Oh. You know, those, those little memes that are- that You went are, in a different direction. I, 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 I know, I was, yeah, I was like, like what are we talking about but, now? But I see the sec- I You know, yeah, I you know, the you know yes. where the memes The meme are. to not look at. Yeah. By the way, yeah. uh, Okamoto Kitchen has posted a link in here, okamotok-shop.com. Again, okamoto, the letter K, dash shop.com. So if you want these sweet t-shirts, again, that's where you want to go. For not just the t-shirts, but also other great merchandise too, so. Um, back to the old uh, the question of the day before we move on. April Villagrana uh, did mention another world I want to live in besides One Piece would be Outlaw Star. Outlaw oh. Star is cool. Outlaw Star is a really good choice. Probably like a little bit stressful, but I mean, so is the real world. So yeah. good, good choice. Indeed. Yeah. So, by the way, uh, Okamoto Kitchen chiming in. The shirt Shelby is wearing is our vintage Okamoto 1956, whereas the shirt I am wearing is our Umachan in delivery blue. All right. So we got a little bit of promotion here yeah there is delivery blue indeed kelly tran by the way says you guys are awesome well kelly tran thank you for you're joining awesome. you're awesome you are indeed awesome and so is everyone joining here again thank you so much for joining us for anime weekly your one-stop shop for all topics anime the theme right now we're sticking with the halloween theme right now or as shelby mcweeb would call it what what are we calling it halloween 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 so folks if you're watching right Yes, please, copyright. <laughs> so, folks, if you are watching again, make sure you've shared out the stream. Share it out on your Facebook, yeah, on your Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, tell your friends about it. If they want to talk anime, if they want to talk any of the, the craziness that's join going us. on, please join us as Utahime Cosplay has said. Join us. We want to hear from you and all the great people that you have here. Let's spread the word about anime. So, and you guys make it more fun because otherwise we're just talking to ourselves, which we could do. We could, uh, we could do. Any day? In we could do. Um, would you guys However, make it more fun? It's us right now. Andrew, Spoopy, Alandi, Shelby, yes. the witch, because they probably are trying to use a different word. Yeah. Um, and I'm the, the reaper. reaper. And you're the reaper. The re was that creepier? If you guys Wait, could have picked a nickname for us, who would have, like? What would you? What else would you have picked for each of us? Yes. All right. By the way, Terrence Pryor, hello, like says that. yeah, anime for life. There you go. Yeah, uh, anime for life. Finally, somebody said it. There we go. We, we anime like life is the only life. I don't, well, yeah, I don't know I'm fighting. Keep it in. We're, they're, getting, they're, they're getting very we, thuggish. We so, uh, okay, so it, in the spirit of Halloween or Halloween <laughs> as we're looking Halloween. for. Halloween. So I understand we're, we're looking at titles that have that definite horror feel or yes. you know, that, that scariness, that spooky feel. Utsuhime, I actually contacted you about the show uh, literally with four hours before uh, showtime going. And you actually, in that four hours, <laughs> compiled up a list. Oh, yeah. I did. You actually I was did, ready. You did your homework. I wanted to do my homework uh -huh. because in some of these, mind you, I'm not going to act like I'm an expert. Uh -huh. Like, I haven't seen every single one. Right, But right. at the same time, it's been on my list of must-sees. Uh -huh. But also, too, it's like feedback and like little things that I know. Or like if I, some of the, also to some of the series, I've started but may not have finished because, you know, like every good weave, we 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 like to go a little too deep and we're watching multiple shows at once yeah we're juggling and there's them not all. enough time because right? then we have our, like jobs and other things and cons and and 
and Santa Mae and all that good stuff. And so, Santa Mae. And Santa Mae. Yeah, indeed. so because of that, you know, yeah, there's a few, but a lot of them, you know, I have seen. So. Yeah. Okay. And we're all going to a different event each next weekend. Oh, which okay. Which we can touch on. So We'll touch on that later, yeah. Yeah. Um, Do we, we want to get started with? With Halloween. Okay, so Halloween. Um, even the chat is already chiming in with shows. I'm wondering if these yes. have made your list. Uh, Blood was on my list. Blood Plus, uh, the Tunda and Booty, yes. So yes. Blood Plus. Tell us a yes. little bit about Blood Plus. So, um, I what mean, you know. the the thing is, is that it's a it's a vampire uh, like anime. So, uh, you know, like any good vampire anime, it's gonna be a lot of blood and gore. A lot it's of like blood. an edgy vampire. It's an edgy yeah, one. she's an edgy vampire. Edgy vampire. Okay, yeah. very good. Uh, Was Vampire Night more like? Uh, yes, Kill Bill. and that's another one on my list. Yeah, Vampire Night. Okay. Yeah. Good. That, uh, that one's almost like like a game like it's set up like to me it's like almost like the story unfolds it's like a romance it's like yeah you know. it's kind of like a dating sim i'm sorry yeah, vampire yeah. night is just really really cool clothing to me those, <laughs> yeah that's also those, aesthetic yeah they, they, that was the word i believe. thank you shelby i could not think of that word all day today and i got it thank you the aesthetic yes um by the way uh couple of quick shout outs here to Jonathan Alexander Guerra is watching. What's up? G. Valerie Bernhardt says, I'm 55. I've been watching your show and uh, I've been watching anime for years. Like your show, where do you broadcast from? We're actually at NerdBot Studios. That's in Alhambra, California. So I'm going to take a quick segue here. Again, a lot of great programming here every day on NerdBot. Whether you're an anime fan, a comic fan, a video gaming fan, if you just want to have some good old fashioned fun, this is where you want to be. NerdBot, a lot of great programming, a lot of great artists. Dedicated to just bringing out the, the inner nerd in all of us. So oh, that's yeah. that's where we want to be. So anyway, uh, I'm sorry I interrupted, ladies. So uh, no, well, another going yeah. down that line of like vampire uh-huh. animes, Castlevania. Mm, Castlevania. Is, like, one of my okay. Favorites. Okay. And I'm really excited because the new season is coming out very soon. So okay. Like, so. Ah. Okay, it's so, so good. It, I mean, it's. It, I mean, of course, it's based off of like the video game, mm-hmm. but it's. I love the anime because it's. Uh-huh. It still stays on track with the storyline uh-huh. of the game, and but it's. I like all the the violence well, and the craziness. The good. The good thing though, Adam Fisher is chiming in in the chat. Uh, it's good that you mentioned Castlevania. Castlevania season yep. two premiering this Friday I on know. Netflix. I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> I won't be able to, but see, it sucks because the reason why I said soon is because soon for me means like probably in like another two weeks because we're so busy. Right. There's literally an event <laughs> I won't every be able day. To watch it. You will. I'll binge watch it. Yeah. You just watch it on your own. You're fine. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, good stuff. Adam Fisher also saying also Helsing is very good. Yes, and yeah. Blood Plus is the sequel to Blood yep. the Last Vampire. Is yep, that correct? It is. Okay, very good. Uh, Guillermo Medina chiming in saying Vampire Princess Miyu. Oh, classic. Oh, that's 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 yeah. a that's a throwback. That right. is. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. But I saw Rosario Vampire, and that was another really cute. Like I think of like when I mentioned actually I am, mm-hmm. I feel like that's like the newer kind of version of like Rosario Vampire because it's like too cute, like high school age vampire girls trying not to bite the guy that they have a crush on and trying to like you know suppress that side of themselves. Have we all been there? Uh. <laughs> you know, you just those urges. Youngin. Yeah, you you, no, you, gotta, no, you, you no. gotta hide you gotta hide it you gotta you gotta yeah. push it down. I feel like the thirteen year old weebs actually bit people, so that's a very <laughs> relatable anime. You know the ones like I'm gonna glomp you for Pocky. Like they, they had a biting phase, like a lot of them did. Well, I remember that phase when some people actually had vials of blood around their necks. Uh, um, and mainly probably like Angelina Jolie. And that, that wasn't a <laughs> phase. That, that's not a. That people like, are still doing I that. Have your blood. She oh also like God. like kissed her brother on the red carpet at the Oscars or something. That was yeah. a weird time for Angelina Jolie. You know, um, we you know, we all have those <laughs> moments. You know, adolescence, teenage, uh-huh. weird years where you know, incest. Oh, it's okay. I, I mean, in anime, I, I guess <laughs> that's a relatable in thing anime, in anime, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, when you talk about things like... Um, of what? course, I'm kidding. You guys know I'm joking, right? That's not... That's, it's the internet. Yeah. Nothing translates hey, an- over hey, the internet. anime, okay? there's been weirder instances. Like, you know, if you think about it. Mm-hmm. I mean... Like, yeah. irreg- like the, um, the... Oh, my gosh. The name of the... Irregular high school. That was, like, totally... Regular high school? Yeah. The, the one with... Oh, my God. Now I'm messing up the name. If you remember the one where she's, like, in love with her brother and her brother's... Angel name. Sanctuary? Oh, oh. That's a lot of them, actually. Yeah, um, that's, no, that's uh, like she's that's a whole genre on its own. My little sister can't be this cute. 
I never watched that because that was Soul, the title. Soul Taker? Um, no, no, no. It was another There's one where the brother was like a badass. Uh-huh. And the brother like, was a badass. Yes. Definitely oh my God. Sure. It's going to come to me. It's, they were in high school. Yeah. The brother was a badass and the sister was in love with him. What color hair did she have? Black. Black And they hair. had these awesome uniforms. Uh-huh. Oh, that's God. so many anime. Irregular Magic High. Yes. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> the irregular Magic I knew Magic I wasn't High. going crazy. Thank you, Jesse Mesa. I can't remember everything, guys. But I mean, Vampire yeah. Night's technically an incest anime. That's not a spoiler because I didn't say what happened, but like... The statute of limitations is like well beyond. Yeah, if you looked at a Shoujo Beat magazine cover at any point in your life, you knew what happened at Vampire yeah. Night. But yeah, one of them was her, like yes. one of the people was her brother or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um... Things get weird. Yeah, things get weird. So anyway... That's why what I said wasn't really that weird when you think <laughs> about how weird anime can get. Mm. Especially on Halloween Halloween nights. By the yes. way, uh, G. Valerie is saying thanks for the info about Castlevania's new season on Netflix yes. coming up on Friday. Yes, I binge- watch it, please do. She says, uh, binge watch the first season, was bummed out when I realized there was not a season two until now because Friday, Woo! Netflix Castlevania season two, perfect timing, perfect to get you in the mood for all the spoopiness yeah. that is Halloween indeed. Heck okay, yeah. uh, Greg Hammer, by the way, chiming in saying Soul Taker is a classic. I can't believe no one's talking about Soul Taker. Ah. Uh. Yes. Not yet. That Not exists. Yet. It does, it does uh, exist. Yes. I have two recommendations. I said them last week, so I'm going to say them again. The two most <laughs> Halloween anime you can watch on Halloween are Higarashi no Naku Koroni and yep. Soul Eater. Um, uh, Higarashi Good. is creepy. It's a super creepy horror anime. Um, I feel like... Not a lot of people I know have also seen it, but it's one of the like it's a, it's a staple for horror, for horror anime. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Uh-huh. It's really gory. I recommend it. And I don't even like slashers or horror or gore or anything like that. I like Tigarashi, um, but yep. I also recommend Soul Eater because it's just a hot topic. The anime, <laughs> <laughs> but like condensed for 52 seasons, and the whole thing is like we exist, but it's Halloween every freaking day. Like well, then that also too Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul, yeah. Into that category, I think, like at least in my head, yeah. Along those lines, I'm a big Soul Maka shipper, so like, I just want everyone to see Soul Eater at least once, no matter what time of year it is. Okay, yeah, that's a good ship. That's a good ship. Um, but <laughs> like yeah, the, the sh- a good ship. They're all pretty good ships. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tell us about Tokyo Ghoul. If you've got, if you have it. any like. What's the? Um, it's the, it's a good aesthetic anime, right? Yeah, I think yeah. it's well. It's, it goes into. Um, I love any anime that touches on like the line of like the of good versus evil. Like it, like basically making almost villains where you see you see the good like possible good in them, and you're like, well, they're not that bad. Like even though they're like technically after human flesh, they're but they're but I see this other side of them. Uh, like they're just trying to survive. They're like. I mean, that's what they eat, and yeah. you know, like, so then you start that's sympathizing, hard. and it's like, it's it's weird. Like, I kind of like where it plays along that line, uh-huh. and that's, you know, at the, and we're watching right now what I like to consider, and it was on other lists for horror oh, yes. animes, Psychopath. Psychopath. I'm addicted. I'm so... We've been binge watching it, and to me, it also, uh-huh. too, like, Psychopath is that same idea of, like, you know, um, right, and, like, right versus wrong, and like having, you know, it's like, well, is it wrong? Like it's, you know, a, it's, it's the same thing. It's like a psychological. It's a thing. thriller. Yeah, it's a thriller. Yeah, it, it's it's so good. We so, truth be told, like I started Psychopaths when it first came out, and I I watched like the first six or seven or eight episodes. It, it was a while back, and I I fell off for the dumbest reason because I kept getting distracted by other things. But now we we go back to it. And you find out there's more about it, and actually finally diving in. It's not a, it's not an anime that you want to you know sit there and watch while you're like looking at your phone. It's no, not you have to pay attention. You have to every exactly. detail, but it sucks you in every single episode. And there is a lot of gore. There's a lot of um, violence. Uh-huh. Um, but then at the same time, it's like I like it where it's a solid storyline. It's not uh-huh. just like blood and guts. It's like there's there's a reason behind everything. And and the the evil character in the show I'm not gonna like ruin it too much but right. he is so diabolical and so like e- like it's it to me it's almost as scarier than like a ghoul or a goblin or right, whatever right, else right. because of the fact that it's like this could be a real like these are people who are walking in society today it, it's, yeah. like, it's scary to yeah. think about that and you're just like it was, oh my god it was kind of like how it when, like when the movie saw came out and everybody thought about the psychological yeah. thriller and part yeah. of the scariness of it was 
it's so scary because it's set in a realistic situation. It's very realistic. Psychopath yeah. kind of takes that, yeah. uh, kind of has that idea. Uh, they they often said it was like that movie Minority Report. Yes, if with, you've seen uh, it, it's it, it's different, uh -huh. but it goes off of that same premise in a way. So good. Very and good. Uh, Scuba Steph, by the way, chiming in saying, yes, Psychopath is my shit. No one else has talked about this show. I'm so glad really? I'm not alone in loving Psychopath. It's so good. Yeah. Right. It, it's definitely become like I think an anime convention specifically. I think that's a place where you go to find fans. If that makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I think like it's hard to talk. Like people don't post about it as much. But like yeah. uh -huh. um, I think if you would, like go to the deep depths of an anime convention, it, it's on everyone's much watch list and right I, now. I'm surprised I haven't seen more of the cosplays because that the don denominator. Dominator. The denominator. That, uh, did I say denominator? You said denominator. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, just so you know, I haven't eaten yet. So if my brain goes a little. Okay, forgive me. But that gun is so freaking cool. Uh -huh. And then if you add LEDs and like lights to it, oh my God. So, like, I saw a video of someone who had one so, and it was amazing. So An amazing guys, replica. So if you guys are curious what she's talking about, uh, one of the items in Psycho Pass, this is the primary weapon of the of the protagonist. It's called the Dominator. It is yes. a, it's a firearm. Uh, one, you have to be a registered user within within uh, the show's confines to actually be able to use it. Uh, it will not operate if you're a random schmo. You have so you have to be licensed. One and two. Uh, so the way psychopaths works. If you guys are curious, a brief synopsis of this. Which, by the way, you're gonna need this. Uh, society is now judged in the psychopath world in terms of how likely you are to be a criminal and how likely you are to just be a bad person. Uh, if the rating is high enough, the dominator will actually judge you and say, "Hey, your rating is X amount." Okay, cleared for killing. Aim with aim and execute with extreme prejudice. If that's not fucking savage, I don't know what is. Well, it doesn't always do that because it, it does. It doesn't always analyze and say like, okay, if this person can be uh, yeah. helped, if they can get help, like go to a session and you know help the, their mental wellness, you it's, know, it's, we, we won't kill you. If you if you want a modern if you want an easier equivalent, it's like the phasers from Stun Gun because they are from Star <laughs> from Star Trek because they yeah. have stun and yeah. kill and yeah, yeah it's so. that same idea. Anyway, so uh, oh. jumping back into the chat really quickly before we continue on, just uh, catching up with a lot of the co the comments here. Uh, West India is chiming in with some more spoopy stuff. Boogie, Boogie Pop Phantom. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh. And uh, Anna Fisher also saying we also got to acknowledge one show with vampires. Well, the first two arcs anyway. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure: Phantom Blood and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure: Battle uh, Tendency. Everything just that. links back to JoJo. Right. JoJo. JoJo is the is another. It's like an all-purpose anime. Yeah. You can't go wrong. To be honest, yeah. Do you need action? You got JoJo. Do you need comedy? You got JoJo. Do you need some drama? You got JoJo. Vampires? JoJo. JoJo. It's a very all-purpose no, anime. No, no, no. DJ Rebbers, what is going on? Good to see you. As well as Tim Tim Tastic, no, what is going on? Uh, folks, you have uh, you are chiming in and tuning in to Anime Weekly. Again, your one-stop shop for all topics anime. It's here where you learn about the kawaii philosophy. Woo! can't believe I haven't put that in yet. <laughs> I know. I was waiting for it. I didn't want to throw it in your tagline. No, 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 it's no, my, no. It's my new favorite. <laughs> right? So, uh, you're joining Shelby the Witch McWeeb. Andrew Spoopy Alandi and our guest host for this evening, Utahime, the Reaper Cosplay. So, uh, folks, again, if you have not done so already, make sure you're sharing out the stream. Make sure you're sharing it out Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all sorts of social media to share it out on. Uh, I believe, Shelby, we are giving away... Giving away stickers. We are yeah. giving away stickers. So... Okamoto Kitchen, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okamoto Kitchen is give uh, has gifted us these stickers. Uh, they are spoopy themed, so the Halloween themed with their mascot. Again, folks, one lucky person is gonna get these stickers tonight from the chat. I don't know how Shelby McWeed has concocted something in her mind, a way to determine who's gonna get these. So. Uh, somebody's gonna get stickerified, and come on, they're, they're stickers. I mean, they're, they're, stickers. they're so cute. They're so awesome. cute. So, uh, again, make sure you stay tuned towards the. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end of the show because that's when we'll be giving those away. Also, want to give a quick shout out to some of the events that are going on this weekend to start off Halloween, a uh, Halloween Whee! fest, basically. Uh, first of all, Los Angeles Comic Con, uh, whatever whoop, they're calling whoop, it now, whoop, whoop. that is this weekend. I Comic do Con LA. Comic Con LA. There we go. It, it goes by so many different names. I don't even know. I know. Anymore. It's 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 kind of like, can I say P Diddy? Yeah, it's like P 
P. Puff Diddy. Daddy, love. Was he love? At some Sean point? Combs. So <laughs> does that mean when they? So does that mean the P. Diddy of of conventions? conventions. So when it so does that mean when they name themselves beyond fandom? Does that equal when P. Diddy named themselves swag? Yes. Okay. Swaggy P. We're, we're going. We're going with that. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> One year I went, and it was after they changed it from Kamikaze, and my friend and I were like, I named my kid Kamikaze 2015, and now he's, <laughs> he's going to grow up his whole life with this name ruined. <laughs> People oh, believed dear. us. It was, oh a good, it was a good time. So uh, Comic-Con yes. LA happening this weekend. Utsuhime, I understand you have, a, you have a booth there? Yes. yes. I am a guest along with um, one of my close friends, my uh-huh. sister, Alicia Marie Body. Many of you know her. She's right. fabulous. Um, we have a booth together at 2340, so come on over to the Cosplay Kona, uh-huh. um, and yeah, you get to see us and hang out with us, and you know, I'll have my own stickers and pins. Nice. Woo! And um, so will Alicia, and we'll have prints, and we'll have music and candy, uh-huh. so come hang out with us, and then also too, so many of our great friends are going to be there, uh-huh. and yeah, it's just going to be fun. We're going to be dancing around, having a good time, <laughs> but also too, Nerdbot's going to be there. That's what? correct. I believe Nerdbot has their own booth at Comic Con LA. Yeah. Is that 2242? Is that correct? Nerdplay Girls. Oh, it's the Nerdplay Nerd- Girls. So in fact, oh. it is Even the Ner- better. So the Nerdplay Nerd Girls. So <laughs> if you want the chance to meet the Nerdplay Girls, say hi. Yes. Be respectful, of course. 2242 We're is the booth. We're all in that area. Yes. So come Say on hello over. to the Nerdbot Girls. Yeah. So the Nerdplay Nerd Girls. girls. Nerdplay Girls. So the Nerdplay Girls, and then of course Utsuhime and yes. Alicia Marie Body. Yes. So 2242 for the Nerdplay Girls, yes. 2340 for. Utahime and Alicia Marie. Yes. Uh, now, if you can't go to Comic Con LA, uh, I'll actually be at a separate event as the one of the Masters of Ceremonies for Pacific Media Expo. Pacific Media Expo has made its return. A lot of Pacific Media, as you know, in the title, martial arts, Asian American actors and actresses. It's a lot of fun. I've been going to that for years. It's nice to see it back. It's being held at the Glendale Hilton this weekend as well so, be so fun. if you've got yes. yeah so unfortunately i'll be missing out on all the craziness that has come but then i'll be missing out on pmx <laughs> right so both cons are great and pmx i went to two years ago uh-huh. and it was uh, uh really great really fun and i uh-huh. really recommend going uh-huh. um and checking it out for sure yeah. um so please uh check out one of them i will be at uh, uh um <laughs> <laughs> i'll be at kamori con kamori con okay in, uh portland oregon yes um i will be um uh, Epic Cosplay will have a booth there, okay. and I am going to help them out some of the time. Woo! Um, but like, cause not like I, uh, but like, <laughs> I will be at their booth at certain hours. But you should check out Epic Cosplay regardless if if I'll be at their booth. Indeed. Um, they have yeah. awesome wigs. They have awesome wigs, and also right. too, some some cool swag too. They, yeah, they do. Some cool uh, weeb apparel. We did. Uh, they did. Uh, give us those daddy jackets. We have matching yes. daddy jackets. We have daddy jackets. We, we, yeah. we do need to bring. We do need to bring those on. So I saw someone ask L.A. Comic Con or Comic Con L.A. I should say. Yes. Is is awesome. Like I've been going for years. Um, back when it was Kamikaze. Uh, I remember. <laughs> you know, and changed names. Um, but no, it's it's really fun. Um, they have a lot of great artists. Um, you know, uh, voiceover actors. Like I'm super excited because the voiceover actress for um, Alora, Princess Alora. Oh yeah. Voltron oh, is going to be you. there, Kimberly Brooks. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> and she, oh my God, I freaked out, you guys. I had like a fangirl moment because she actually liked my Allura yeah. photo on like Twitter and uh-huh. I was freaking out. And I'm like, I, I, I just got to meet her. It yeah. hasn't happened yet, but I have, you know, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Right. There's so many, so many great press, people. Press and panels. In the comments. I have a panel that's actually dealing um, with harassment. Oh. Um. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a deeper conversation, but it's gonna be great. It's not me who's hosting it. It's actually um, lovely lady V, um, a good friend of mine who um, is bringing this subject up, you know, to kind of create a dialogue in the community. Okay. And so yeah, we're gonna be um, discussing that with some of our other cosplay friends, and we actually do have a lawyer on the panel too. So. Oh. People can get some this is official. advice about it. Yeah. So right, right, legit. right. Yeah. So definitely check it out. And the information's on my page too. So good stuff. All right, right. So a lot of big events coming up this weekend. We're leading into even more stuff coming also up soon. TwitchCon's happening. TwitchCon oh is my indeed gosh. happening. TwitchCon yeah. Hopkins is going to TwitchCon. Yes. Uh, as both <laughs> as both Christian Abasolo and karaoke maestro Lamar Harris in the chat have said there are too many cons too many this cons. weekend. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't agree more. Yes, but I don't you know, know who, uh, but who the good that. the good thing is is if you need 
to go somewhere, somewhere. to do anything. There's something to do there in the country. There is, something, country. There is yeah. something to but do. But you know what? It's movie. great because everybody has different, ta- just like different tastes in anime. Exactly. Different tastes in cons. I could all three if I could. I really would too. Yeah, exactly. I would. Okay, so uh, again, folks, we've been talking about spoopiness, spoopy anime is kind of the things yeah. that you would normally see. Well, we just talked about Psychopaths. That was definitely, yes. definitely a great one. Uh, here's another random question for every for everybody on the panel here, and again, everybody in the chat too. Uh, if money were no object, what character would you want to dress up for for Halloween? Oh God, why did you do that? To oh. me? Because because it's spoopy times. Right. You had to. Of course I did because I have absolutely no shame. Now, to be fair, you can't just always pick Archer. I'm not gonna pick Archer. <laughs> Archer is banned for me for this one because I'm not. Well, okay, so. If you guys are, are, are if you guys haven't figured it out already, I'm a huge fan of Archer from Stay like, Stay Night. It's a, it's a, it's a different type of Archer. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I could do this Archer or something. I don't know, with a tactile neck, but I would need blue contact lenses. But that's okay. We're not gonna go there. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, for Insanime, actually, I'm dressing up as Spike Spiegel, and I believe Utahime is dressing up as Faye Valentine. Yeah, so, so come find us. Yes, indeed. Uh, so that that's uh, going to be a big one. But uh, to everybody here, if you had, and of course, this also goes to the chat too. Question is, if you could dress up as any anime character for Halloween, if money were no object, who would it be? So let's see. We are uh, uh, while you two think about it, yes. we do have we do have Vintique Smith chiming in. Lucy from Disenchantment as oh. as a character. Okay. Uh, Adam Fisher saying, if I could be anything, Spider Man from Infinity War. Preacher Prin- uh, Pinsook says, Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. Interesting. Oh. So we had a lot of uh, a lot of good ones here. Let's okay. Let's go. First thing that comes to mind. What would you dress up as? You are asking. I know. I'm asking. I'm. I, that's why. I, like first thing. Boom. Phew, like the first thing that comes to mind. Why did you do this to me? Because I'm a terrible person, and I also want our chat to to chime in Jean as of, well. Joan of Arc from Fate Grand Order. <gasps> oh, Jean that would be oh. amazing. Yeah. Oh my heart. Oh. That would be expensive but cool. Yeah. Well, if money were no option. But come back to me. No, no that's, that's, a that's, great, that's a good that's one. Perfect. Dang it. That is a great yeah. one. Uh, oh Tim God. Tintess No says, I would be the Freedom Gundam from Gundam Seed. I respect that wholeheartedly. That's amazing. Uh, Esmeralda V says, Anne of Green Gables. Ooh. Great pick. Okay. Uh, very, very Quality good. over quantity. Nice, nice. Uh, Adam Fisher chiming in saying, Gridman from SSSS. Gridman. Could I be a robot? Oh, I'd you be, could be a robot, yeah. I'd be the, I'd be the Persona 5 Haru's... Um, Haru's, oh God, what when Haru is Haru's insides comes out, I'm the fan lady with the ball gown. What? It, tell me, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> nice. See, I uh, see, persona, the only persona, one. Yeah, persona, there you go, there you her go. persona. I would be Haru's persona. Why did I forget? Why did I forget the word persona? Persona, <laughs> indeed. It's persona. Over. Good stuff. Sorry, that was so uh, Christian uh, Abasolo sing Alucard from Helsing. It's a great pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Manny Lopez chiming in. Ava O2, the whole robot from head to toe with steam and lights. I totally could do it. And G. Valerie Bernhardt saying Lust from Full Metal. Oh, okay. Great picks Lust as well. Lust is hot. You guys got to think with your wallets, though. No, I... Like, these are all great ones. I know. That's, yeah. but that's like, why I'm like, I'm trying to think uh, if there was something that really, yeah, like, I know is yeah. too uh-huh. complex. That's why I'm, like, going back Cardi to Cardi B and her my... new, like, the, the new one that she wore <laughs> right? in her single was Money. Yeah, I'd be Cardi B from Money. <laughs> that video. Just, <laughs> just the gold. Just watches. everything. <laughs> That's a good one. Just keep it. <laughs> Sell it. Oh let's, see if I could, let's see if I could be anything. If money were no object, I'd be a fully functioning burning Gundam or God Gundam from G Gundam. Well, if, if only for the reason that, if you guys remember, you know, if, if you remember back in the day when G Gundam was actually on Toonami, and just how absurdly manly and awesome Domon Kashi was with every line he said. I mean, I mean think about it. This hand of mine burns a glowing red. It's loud roar tells me to grasp victory. Here I go! Erupting! Burning figure! Yeah, that was like, little, I literally had to like lean away from the mic because he was so adamantly awesome with how, with, with his, with, with, with his <laughs> delivery. She has that very... But see, like, I would be at the Gundam itself because I, then I could do like burning finger at everybody and it would just be awesome, so... This is the second time you got excited on this show. The first time, was it Samurai Pizza Cast? What was the other thing you got excited about? Uh, that you one know, annoyed Samurai Troopers, a.k.a. Ronin Warriors! Yeah. Yes. Ronin Warriors. Which would also be something. The other time you got excited. Okay, okay, so yes. if we're okay. going Gundam, like... You could, you could yeah, do I'll Gundam. I'll pick Gundam, yeah. Gundam, no, Gundam, I want to be... 
the Franks. Oh, I want to be okay. Ster, Ster, I, okay, I'm going to say it wrong. Oh, yeah. Sterlisa? Ster, 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 now I can't Ster, think of it. Uh, no, that, it's Strazia. Stra- 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 oh, now I can't. The pronunciation. Uh-huh. Stra- we Stra- cannot pronounce it. Okay. But uh, I would, yes, because actually the the body of that thing is actually really cool. Yeah. If we're going to do, okay, if we're going to go that level, I didn't know we were going like, okay, I'm thinking just like, you yeah, know, or it, coats of armor. Like you I know? said, yeah, if yeah, money yeah. were but no like, objects. If money were, yeah, that would be yeah. so sick because yeah. nobody has done a Franks. That's okay. true, yeah. They've right. only done the body suits or no suits at all. Also throw in Jenny the Teenage Robot. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> nice pick, yes. great pick. Uh, by the way, Christian Abasolo agreeing with the O Franks, yes. And good one, good one. Guillermo Medina saying Count Mika from Galaxy Express 39. Classic! Oh. That's you, not very often you get to hear Galaxy Express 39. So, great reference there. Okay, good stuff. Again, uh, folks, I want to take a quick opportunity here to. <laughs> Remind everybody, hey, you're watching Anime Weekly. Thank you so much for joining us. Your host, Shelby the Witch McWeave, Andrew Spoopy Alandi. Our guest host for the evening, Utsuhime Cosplay, a.k.a. The Reaper. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um, <laughs> folks, if you're looking for some... Wow, that, that, was, that was good. Um, was that almost, good? You're upping the ante every single, like, mwahaha right? is, like, just getting more Mark Cannon. <laughs> Hire me. <laughs> I want to voice an anime. Please. Folks, if you're looking for something to do on Halloween, again, it's a Wednesday night. Look no further than Arcadia, California, because Nerd Nights is back. Woo! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Nerd Nights Woo! happening at the Arcadia Dave & Buster's, Arcadia, California. Your ticket's $10 gets you a play card for $10, so you're not losing anything. Yep. You, you get access to the private sky deck where we'll be doing a lot of nerd things like Nerd karaoke. There will be drink specials. Uh, I believe we are also showing the Nightmare Before Christmas as well. One so, of my favorites. Uh, yes, we have the permission to actually show the Nightmare Before Christmas. So again, this show, I believe starts around 7 p.m. Uh, nerd Nights. Again, Arcadia, California, the Arcadia Dave & Busters. It's a lot of fun. I'm going for nerd so karaoke. Uh, there may be a special, a special outfit that I will be wearing. That I've only worn once in my life. Uh, Utahime mm. actually knows what U- Utahime. What are we dressing up as for Nerd Nights? I will. I will they're make this official. They're creepy and they're spooky. They're all together spooky. They are family. Buy a ticket just to see that. Yes. Morticia and Gilmail. Yes. So look on their pages. Do you want to be on Wednesday? Do you want to be on Wednesday? Yes. But Wednesday is the best mean, Halloween you costume. Have, you probably have. She has a million different amazing cosplays right? and outfits to wear. But that would be awesome. So, Just so they're not getting closer to you. You could be my mom. I dig it. All right. So uh, again, folks. I'll be it. If you're looking for, if I'm you're probably looking, old enough. I'll be sexy it. Sexy it. Yeah, cousin it. <laughs> oh my god. That's, nobody's ever done that. What is it going to have like a bra or bikini top on? Yeah, over like, the hair. Over the hair. Okay. <laughs> So that got really weird, but also too really so, awesome at the same nuts. time. So get your <laughs> so folks get your trick or treating done early, and then come out to Nerd Nights again. That's at the Dave and Buster's in Arcadia, yes. California. I believe the festivity started at seven p.m. Again, ten dollar entry gets you a ten dollar play card. You can use that to play any of the games that are there at Dave and Buster's. It also gets you access to the Sky Deck. Yes, the Sky yes. Deck is ours. Where we'll be doing, we'll have our DJs. I believe Chuck Nunn is spinning as well as Nerd <laughs> Karaoke for the evening. Drink special should be happening as well. That's where you want to be on Halloween, yes, October 31st. For sure. so it's going to be jo- so fun. Join us there. So, uh, joining uh, Chicken back in the chat real quick. Uh, Amy Eliza says, Hey, Shelby. Oh, it's um, been so long. <laughs> also says, Please stop abusing the pumpkin. You're going to shake it to death. You can't control oh. me, Amy Eliza. <laughs> 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 yes. Oh, All right. Oh, don't hurt him. He's. he's- it's an aesthetic. It is. It is the aesthetic. <laughs> By the way, a couple of last people chiming in about their uh, their their Halloween ideas. If money were no oh, object, yes. Tatenda yes. Mbudzi was is saying nudist beach DTR. <laughs> if you, uh, I believe, from uh, Kill a Kill. Yes. Okay. yes. 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 So it'll be kind of cold. I uh, know. I was like, ooh, chilly. Yeah. Yeah. Chilly on a fall evening. Well, yeah, but see, here's the thing. It's California. There's summer. Not so summer, which we're kind of getting That's to true. not so summer, and then of course excruciatingly summer. Well, I'm from Chicago, and I thought I would always be just like immune to like cold weather, and then now that I've lived here for several years, 
I am such a punk that if it's like <laughs> under like six, if it's 60 degrees, uh -huh. I, I'm freezing. I'm like, I need like a scarf. I need to bundle up and wrap myself in like anything cozy and warm uh -huh. and like multiple hoodies. It's so bad. So when I go home, they're like, yeah. what, are you, what, what are you doing? I'm just like, okay. I'm still cold. Yeah. But yeah. When I go home to Maine, they're like, oh, are you a city girl now? Can you not handle Maine anymore? It's like, <laughs> I'm like, mm. nope. The California Hard lifestyle dope. has taken over all of it. So, <laughs> so all right. So to, all right. So to both of you ladies right now, I'm gonna ask one another question. Mm -hmm. And again, yeah. uh, if anybody in the chat also has any any opinions on this, please chime in. If you are going to re recommend one anime to watch over the weekend to get into the Halloween spirit or the Halloween spirit, let's be right about that, right? Show me another one. Okay. If we are gonna pick one anime, you can pick any of them. Doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong answer here. What would you recommend to everybody in order to get into that Halloween spirit? And of course, you in the chat as well. Please chime in with your suggestions as well for what anime to watch to get into that Halloween spirit. Uh, it's I know I'm I'm really drilling them. They did not expect neither of these ladies expected me to start drilling them with questions. Okay, you go first because I know mine. Okay. okay. I'm gonna say mine because I feel like it's underrated, and a lot of people haven't seen it. But it definitely has very spooky elements, but a very strong storyline. If you love Walking Dead, if you love that, if you love Night of the Living Dead, you're gonna love Kabinari of the Iron Fortress. Oh, Kabinari of the Iron my Fortress! My girl Mume. Great, yes, Zombie Slayer. Yes. yes. Um, so you have to, you have to check this out because uh -huh. it is so well done, and it's if you love Attack on Titans, it's from the same people, same family. So um, definitely check it out. Give it some love. Uh -huh. Um, you know, I get so excited whenever I see other Mume cosplayers or like any of the characters. I'm just like, oh my god, like you guys are the best. <laughs> um, and I have done that cosplay before, uh, uh -huh. and I did it at AX. Um, I just love the fact that I had like a huge like steam power rifle, you know, and okay. then a huge water tank uh -huh. on my back. That was fun. <laughs> good, <laughs> Big good, weapons, yeah. woo! But um, but no, um, definitely check it out. It's really really good. Um. And yeah, I don't think it, you'll be disappointed. And it has all of that uh, spooky good time, you know, that we're looking for. Sorry, so, Chuck so Nunn's it, haunting the studio I, right oh, now. Oh, I thought you were. Are the, you, the ghost of Chuck off? Nunn oh, is in Are you summoning the right now? Elon Musk? Summoning. No, God, no, 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 That was my segue. <laughs> okay. I was going on the segue. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Because I said. Because I thank you. Because I, I thought said, you, I was gonna. I thought no, that was you were you were helping me. You were helping me. No, that's fine. It's perfect. Because Sorry. that's the best way. No, that's Sorry. the best way to do it. Because everyone's happy that I'm crying. That's the best way to bring the audience in is to make fun of me when I cry. Thank you. You did God's work. We need we need the awkward Shelby. Instead moment. of instead of me suggesting Higurashi and me suggesting Soul Leader for your Halloween anime, I'm going to suggest your name because Elon. Oh. <laughs> Elon Musk said on Twitter that he likes your name. So now, here's what I'd like you, the audience, to do. Okay. Tweet out to Elon Musk and tell him to be on Anime Weekly anime and also Weekly. to be my boyfriend. Just to just see what'll happen. Know. Yeah, just to see what'll happen. He's single now. Is he? Yeah, he broke up with that, that one girl. Yeah. Uh, I don't, he's single? Yeah. Okay, so anyway, I tweet mean, out to Elon I haven't checked his Instagram recently. I don't think he has an Instagram. I tried to find his Instagram and I'll live on the hashtag. But <sighs> go on Twitter and look at everything Elon Musk. Everything he said about anime, because he said, I like anime, and I, he said, I like your name. So watch your name over the weekend so that enough people watch it to make him be my yes. anime weekly guest. So every There's lots of shows out there, but you know what? There's no show like anime weekly. There's no show like launching a There's Tesla no into the sun or something. <laughs> Which is gonna happen on Anime Weekly at some point. So, what were the objects that you said that you would use for summoning, like Elon Musk? How are we to gonna? How are we gonna summon Elon Musk to the studio? We're gonna get a pentagram. We're gonna get a tiny Tesla car thingy. Um, <laughs> what's, a baby what, Tesla. Yeah, what summon space? Tesla. Yeah, what summon okay. SpaceX? Um, you, you need the coil, by the way. The rocket. Tesla coil. Yeah, Tesla coil. You said Tesla the copy coil. of your name. Copy a Blu-ray of your name. Um, and this. Has anyone been to SpaceX? Can you be a tourist and go to SpaceX? <laughs> like, is there like a postcard or something, or some kind of like toy rocket ship hey, I that's know going some guys in the at SpaceX. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. Tell them to hook me up. Okay. <laughs> Preacher Prince. Set me up on a date. Preacher Prince like, of say always saying, "Don't forget the Falcon 9." So, okay. Okay. Yeah, good. we have the pentagram all set. Very good. Okay. So, so 
get him on the show or at least tell him we exist. By the way, folks, if you are curious, there is actually a live tweet. If you go to the it's bomb my show, my Twitter, it's already uh, started. If you go to the bomb show cosplay on Twitter, just join in on the fun. You will actually see Shelby's tweet, which has been retweeted. <laughs> Let's. Go. Build yes. that out. Retweet it with your comments. Shelby and- McWeeb. S H E L L B E E M C W E E B. You um, have the, the bombshell cosplay. <laughs> so and the bombshell cosplay on Twitter. So uh, the chat is, by the way, chiming with the recommendations for the spooky season. Uh, anyone knows Photoshop? Photoshop picture of me and Elon Musk together, and I can make it my promo. <laughs> That's a scary thought. Happy Halloween. Halloween. Woo! G. Valerie Bernhardt is recommending Castlevania. Great yes, choice, by yes. the way. Uh, Okamoto Kitchen recommend. And, and by the way, I'm quoting verbatim. Okamoto Kitchen recommends another. Ooh, another good one. Jason Logan recommending Vampire Hunter Bloodlust. That was yes. actually one of my picks. Tim Tim Tassinell saying Love Live because there's a lot of costumes. And oh, Dancing a- Star Night stars on me. Dancing Stars on me. Damn, why did I forget it? This is my moment. <laughs> <laughs> You, you trade for this moment, I and now you're letting it moment. go, man. Stars on me, dancing stars. Knows them, he's a witch. I don't remember what's happening. Nice. Wait, and what was your, you? You've been getting out of answering some of these questions. So I know. Yeah. I, have, I know I have because I'm very sly. So about can you tell us what is your favorite? If, what is your vote? Well, how are you going to bring Elon Musk into the studio, Andrew? How am I going to bring Elon? Both Musk? questions. <laughs> Both questions. So whichever order, <laughs> we'll let we'll let you decide. I, I'm going to win the Powerball and then just snoo- schmooze it up. Okay. That's okay. that's what's gonna happen. Okay, and uh, then what's your what's your vote for the? Um, my, my vote was actually Castlevania. By the it way. was. G. Okay. Valerie Bernhardt, uh, and I agreed. Uh, Tatena and Boozy also saying Berserker Golden yeah. Age art. Ah. Uh, let's see here. We're getting Michael Powell, one of our previous hosts, saying the Halloween special of the first season of Malcolm in the Middle, which is not an anime, so we can discard that. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Weston Diaz saying I would recommend XXX Holic because it has the atmosphere of spooky oh. but surreal vibe. Okay. Like Hell Girl too. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Yeah. And, uh, and Mellow Mike actually has my other choice, which I'm very okay. sad I didn't bring up. High School of the Dead. Yes. Oh, that's, dead. On, that's on my list. Great. I swear. Look, 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 look. That's on my list. You see, it's, it's on the list. Uh-huh. The list. It's okay. That is on your list. It's true. Uh, just a proof. Yeah. Yes. You know, High School of, high school of the Dead. Because we're on the topic of know. zombies. Right. Things. Yo, know, I mean that was the big zombie craze happened. Obviously, walk, Walking Dead Are you was grabbing your boobs? because we're talking about High School of the Dead. So, oh, so that's yeah. right. Because it's fan service. Yeah, you can do it too. There, there's a <laughs> one of the characters and does that like all the time. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, you got your 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 uh, dose of fan service for Anime Weekly. So yeah, the Kawaii dose. the Kawaii philosophy dose. here. <laughs> Leading into that, by the way, I'm going to take a quick moment. Uh, Obviously, you're going to be looking for something to do after Nerd Nights once you've done that, because I, I know that's the middle of the week. But what's going to happen the following weekend? Well, there's really? two. Why don't you tell us? I have no idea. There's so many events going on right now. One of the big things that's going on is Big Adventure going on in Costa Mesa. Nerdbot actually, Nerdbot actually has its own area, so you get to go there, Woo-hoo. watch some of the great stuff that Nerdbot is putting on at Big Adventure. There is a yeah. lot of music to be uh, to be witnessed, listened to. What? Uh, yes. Why are you doing such? Oh, sorry. Get out! Lots of noises going on, apparently. Yeah. It's haunted oh, in the studio. And also, too, Man. Alicia and I will also be there. That is correct, guests. yes. So, guests and comic book things and so many... There's going to be a lot of stuff. Right. So, uh... We're, I'm going to be at HentaiCon hosting the Kiss Pink Maid event. And I'll be at HentaiCon as the co-master of ceremony. I may or may not stop by. Indeed. My f- to visit my friends. So BlizzCon well, too. BlizzCon is <laughs> also. Awesome. HentaiCon kind of scares me. <laughs> so it will uh, be an actual HentaiCon. Yeah. So uh, folks. So what you've got in the Nerd Nights? Obviously, that's Wednesday, October 31st. You're going to be looking for something to continue on that whole weekend of going on. You're going to be playing from the 31st all the way through yes. the weekend. So you've got big adventure going on yeah. at Costa Mesa where NerdBot's got its own area. It's ginormous. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Lots of promotion. Hentai Con going on in Burbank. Yeah. And yes. don't forget BlizzCon. And I was getting there. BlizzCon also happening. Uh, BlizzCon. It's on Dapper Day. <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, and Dapper Day. <laughs> oh my lord. There's, why do you guys do this to Dapper us? Day. We in shouldn't here. have to choose like this. Yeah. yeah. Well, you shouldn't have to choose, but you know what you've got. You've got all the options there. So choose your option, no matter what. Have fun, no matter where you go. So, uh, okay. So tuning back into the chat really quick. 
Uh, let's see. Jesse May is a cho- uh, tuning in for the question here, uh, saying Bloodlad or the English dub of Ghost Stories. Oh. Uh, okay. Shelby, I see what you're doing, Shelby, pervert. Tell us, tell us about Ghost Stories. Well, I think, unless I'm wrong, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but Ghost Stories, like the English dub, the voice actors were like, mm, oh, fucking whatever. So they kind of redubbed it of their own accord, and it's... Nice. Check it out. Okay. Yeah, that's Good all stuff. I can say. Okamoto Kitchen, by the way, chiming and saying, Gaku... Uh, Gakko Gorashi and Zombie Land Saga are the spiritual successors of High School of the Dead. So, yep. a couple of other good choices uh, to uh, to That's choose true. from. Uh, by the way, also chiming in, uh, uh, Kara Expo. Or Chara Expo is Chara the, Expo. Chara Expo is the weekend wait, after oh, Hentai Con. Wait, is it Chara Expo? I'm just saying what's in my brain when I read it. It, it could be Chara, Chara Expo. Either way, there's a lot of. Great I'm stuff. going to that because. What, what is that? I it's an idol it. convention. Is Sorry, it? that was. Idol who? You are like the queen of idols. I'm getting Wait, there. That sounds kind of like by, I'm talking by, about idols, isn't it? Like, oh. I mean, but you're I mean, not wrong. You know, yeah. By idols. The, by the way, Shelby, if I hinted at you that, you know, if I plan to do one of the next anime weekly drafts, which I wouldn't be able to. With idols? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Did you yes. see her face? How excited she got. <laughs> this might become a thing, folks, so let us yes. know. Again, I'm also taking topics. We're going to do another draft soon, but if idols is something you want to see, do let us know by making sure... Best girl. Which by, by making oh, sure you go to I Anime Weekly, aka okay, facebook.com slash myanimeweekly, let us know you want to see the Anime Weekly draft focus on idols. And we'll take other topics as well. So, uh, oh, and I forgot to mention, yes. Kabanari, there's a movie coming out. Is there? Next year. Okay. Oh, which is, I'm super excited. We forgot to say that Crunchyroll and Funimation got a divorce. Well, that's oh. really scary. So that's the last Yeah, let's, let's not talk about that because then I get all depressed and really, like, I, I mean, cry and cry. I mean, there's so many things. I mean, I mean, both companies. I wish them well. What great companies right. doing whatever they want to do, living their best life. Right. So if you guys are, so if you guys haven't heard the big news, Crunchyroll and Funimation uh, have agreed to end their marriage, uh, going their separate ways. Crunchyroll, uh, I believe, losing access, uh, or it was a Funimation that's really losing access. Who's losing access their, to whose anime? Their titles are not going to be merged. Anymore. Right. Okay. So you. And that includes Psychopaths. Psychopaths. Just so you know. Uh, don't worry about that one. Trust I know. Me, we got, it, but then we, yeah. now you gotta be subscribed to two different streaming services. Oh, but see, sorry. that's when you wanna make friends by going to things that's like true. Nerd Nights or Hentai Con. And or, watching anime with them. Yeah. Uh, and oh, that's you, true. And, yeah. once you, yeah. and once you're, yeah. and once you're done watching extra, anime, yeah. come to Anime Weekly Bingo Wednesdays Bingo at 9 p.m. to make sure that you are tuning in and talking the storm with us, yeah. guys. Because again, that's where we wanna be. This is where we wanna hear from you guys. So yes. Again, this show doesn't so, happen yeah. without. Our fans and everybody here chiming in about their opinions. On and you guys yeah. are the best. You guys tune in, and I tune in. Yes. With you guys. Yes. So it's always really cool when I'm on this side because I know how much fun it is watching it on your end. And so, uh, uh-huh. but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, this show is seriously one of my favorites and forever will be. But then also too, I am a huge weeb, so yes, that you makes are. a lot of sense. This, and this is totally yeah, true about it's that. just. But you guys are always on it, and yeah. you know, I, I love your chemistry together. <laughs> it's magical. We do, we I do feel we can. it. So support Funimation, support Crunchyroll, and support us every Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Yes. Yes. So again, uh, folks, make sure you've liked uh, Anime Weekly, the the actual page for us. Uh, Facebook.com slash MyAnimeWeekly. Make sure you've also liked NerdBot as well. That's where you're watching this. Make sure you uh, like this so that you get the updates on all the great programming that's going on here as well. Now, I have not forgotten, by the way. Elon Musk is here! Wait, what? Wait, Elon is he? My boyfriend. Oh my god. Elon Musk is in the studio what? right now. What? Is, what? what did the conjuring works. Wait, can you take the, the picture of him smoking weed in a, in a radio station and put it instead? Because there's time. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you're, it matches everybody. You really he's wa- here. I'm so thank you, oh producer. My god. Thank he's you, new actually, producer. He's, he's actually. here. He's gonna Such launch us man. into space. By the way, gotta give a uh, <laughs> small shout out to uh, producer. Don't hit him in the head. Producer Rob, wherever you are, the meme slinger. We wish you well. We, we wish do you have. Well. We do have. We Mellow Mike you. in the in the uh, in Mellow the Mike. Show now. Producer Mike. Mellow Mike spinning Mellow the hot Mike. memes. The nerf herder himself, yes, uh, because hey, he has literally hey, an entire hey, arsenal you, of nerf. Okay, herders. I'm. I, you just lost it, just your fucking privileges. <laughs> You've lost the fucking privileges. I should have been. Thank you. This should happen a long time ago. In. I'm so, sorry, Henry. Did she? She disrespected you. I understand. Its name that. is Henry now. Yes, his oh, name is Henry. That's a good name. You didn't ask him his name, did you? I still have Candle Chuck Nun. 
Disrespect. I'm so scared of you two right now. Either way. Okay, so, shall we have not forgotten? We are giving these stickers away to one random winner. Now, uh, I believe the way this will work is just like how we've done giveaways in the past, where I hand Shelby control of my phone. Please don't do it. You can have good. the Harus. I will have the Harus. That's fine. They're going to get all the t stickers, right? It's all one giant pack. That's a, Is that correct? Yes. So, Shelby has concocted a question. Is that correct, Shelby? Yes. Okay. First answer. It's dancing stars on me. Thanks, guys. Yes. Um, First person to answer the question, and it was verified by Shelby in the chat. We've also got other people verifying as well. First an correct answer, and again, Shelby has to be the one to say your name in the, in the broadcast. Name, say my name. You will win the stickers, courtesy of Okamoto Kitchen. Again, fine, fine cooks. If you've ever seen the Okamoto Kitchen truck, that's where you want to go for your food. Japanese yeah. comfort food, so many great dishes, so many great drinks as well. Oh, yeah. Again, if you're at a convention and Okamoto Kitchen is so there. So delicious. Make sure you stop by. That line is totally worth it, by the way. It totally is. Totally worth it. Yeah, it let's really is. Get, uh, <laughs> and Just chuck see how Elon close Musk. you can get to that. Elon, Elon. There you go. Okay, so, Together. Shelby, what is the question for our viewers in order to win these stickers? Okay, if you were paying attention, and to be honest, you can guess, um, but what did I say the best ship was in Soul Eater? Oh, that's a good question. Holy you can crap. pick your own if you're not a moron and you get it right. Holy crap, I don't even remember what you said. I, I, exactly, if and that's seen, why it's a good question, because we don't even remember if we were here. you've seen Soul Eater... <laughs> you know what the best ship is. Okay, so again, want to oh, get the JFC. Yeah, yeah. Again, gonna oh, give I'm so hungry now. Gonna give a quick shout out to Insanime that is happening tomorrow at the Belasco in Los Angeles. Insanime Anime tomorrow. Impulse. Visit animeimpulse.com. 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 And you're gonna see us. Well, I'll be there. And so many of our amazing friends. Yes, so a lot of great guests. If you watched, on the dance floor. If you watched last week's show, Sean, uh, Shawnee Boy, who is it? Jesse wins. Jesse. Yay! Maka Soul. All right. So what was it? it Jesse Meza? No, it's not Stein. Get out of here. Stein. Sorry, Stein my, in the other my ex boyfriend the was the one. My ex boyfriend was uh, was that was his favorite ship. I'm sorry, I shouldn't take that out on you. Okay. <laughs> so who, not Stein. Who's I'm our, sorry. Who was our winner? Ah. It was Jesse. Jesse. Uh, Jesse Meza. Jesse Meza. I'm oh, sorry, Mandy. Next time. Okay, so Jesse Meza, you are the winner as verified by one Shelby McWeep. What I need you to do is make sure you liked the Anime Weekly page. Go ahead and shoot us a DM with uh, a mailing address, and we'll get these sent out to you as soon as possible. Or we'll give it to you in person. It doesn't matter. Okay, that works too. <laughs> if you don't want us having your your info, that's that's that works. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll leave it up to you. Okay. Um, I didn't mean that about Stein Medusa. I almost caused by that once. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, so. Uh, let me just make sure. I'm just looking at. By the way, shout out. Yes, shout out to the JFC plate. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's Oklahoma. so delicious. Okay, by the way, like by I tried almost every. No, it doesn't. By delicious. the way, just to be uh, clear, the pumpkin on to uh, the pumpkin already has a name. His name is Pumply. No, it's Henry. Henry. It's Henry. Excuse you, yeah. Sir Henry, Mr. Pumpkin. He's eating Elon Musk. <laughs> Teslas. <laughs> okay then. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about... a little rough with him. Wow. He's willing to forgive if you apologize. I'm oh, sorry, me. Henry. Okay. Me. Oh. That, that was... <laughs> he liked that. He said he wants to be close to you again. Make sure you. Okay. Uh, just a little background about the pumpkin before we go. Pumply works as an electrician. Enjoys Russian nesti nesting dolls and fantasy football. He has a wife named Sophia and two children, Derek and Sara. Okay, very, very. Am I getting I that? Right? I don't even. I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know what to say. So, on that note, on that note, folks, we're coming to the close of Anime Weekly again. No, want to give? Already? I know it's it's the, the time goes really fast when you're having fun. So okay. again, want to give a huge thank you to everybody who joined us here on the stream today. Again, make sure you've liked Nerdbot, facebook.com slash nerdbotmedia. Make sure you've liked Anime Weekly, facebook.com slash myanimeweekly. Utahime, uh, where can the people follow you and any last words to say before we go? You guys are the best. Thank uh -huh. you for joining us. Please make sure that you follow them on all their social media and like Anime Weekly page because they're amazing and what, well, what I'm about you? Where, where, do we, about you? where do we follow you? I know, you? but I, that was you. my last words. I'm just <laughs> reinforcing the fact that Anime yeah. Weekly is the best. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. but if you want to see me and all of my cosplay shenanigans, 
Um, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Utahime Cosplay. It's on the screen. U T A H I M E, not Utah. <laughs> Utahime. Say, say it. Say it. Japanese. Yeah. And um, if you want to find me on Twitter, it's a different handle. It's my first and last name, Brianna DeCoster. B R I A N A D E C O S T E R, on Twitter. But everything else, Utahime Cosplay. Gotcha. Yes. And. See me at LACC. Come and say the tenement. 2340, the booth. 2340. And go. also to tomorrow night. Very good. Shelby, where do the people follow you? Chuck Nana, this is what you smell like. Right? Right? Um, you can follow me on Shelby McWeeb on Twitter. Um, it's S H E L L B E E McWeeb on Twitter. You can follow me at the Bombshell Cosplay on Instagram, or you can follow me at Anime Weekly on Facebook or Bombshell Cosplay on Facebook. Uh, can I get this candle relit really quickly? Can, can somebody light this candle for me one last right here? Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, Are they finally sell, summoning Elon Musk? I don't know. Okay. Listen, I need I need the candle. The candle was blown out prematurely, okay? <laughs> Thank you. So the smoke doesn't show up if you blow it out. Well, that's fine. Uh, I you know, know we're that. Not, we're not. Okay. Thank you, producer. Producer. Yay, Mike. Fire. Producer okay. Mike. And then there was light. All right. So <laughs> three guys with lighters just came up. Okay. That was cool. Uh, let us know. My name is Andrew J. Landy. Again, uh, you can follow me at Andrew J. Landy on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, you can find my we really go. weird there Facebook we uh, Facebook page as well. But again, follow me there. Oh, we've got a lot of great stuff coming up. Again, folks, yes. this has been Anime Weekly. Again, make sure you have followed or liked Anime Weekly on Facebook and Nerdbot. Yes. I do not believe we're going to have a Wednesday edition of Anime Weekly next week because, again, we'll be at Nerd Nights. Nerd we will see you there, Woo. guys. But until then, make sure you stay tuned with everything going on. Yeah. Follow our Twitters. Woo! Guys, that calls up for Anime Weekly. Yes. We'll see you next time. And as and requested in the chat, this has been Anime Weekly, so we're going to blow out the candle. Close up. Can I get that close up? Zoom in. Zoom in. Yes. Good night.